slide shows the three typical types of engineers in Malaysia, which are the graduate engineers, the professional engineers, and the professional engineers with practicing certificate. Their role and responsibilities vary accordingly. In terms of their professional status, an engineer needs to be first become a graduate engineer, followed by professional engineers, and then to the professional engineers with practicing certificates. To become a graduate engineer, first you need to graduate from an accredited engineering program in Malaysia and register yourself with Board of Engineer Malaysia BEM. You may entitle yourself as Grad N and as a graduate engineer, you can take up the employment as a graduate engineer. Principally, a person cannot take up the employment or responsibility of an engineering task without registering to the BEM as the graduate engineer. That means it will be illegal to practice engineering tasks without it. The next level will be the professional engineer, or it is commonly known as professional engineer tier 1. Upon acquiring the professional engineers, you may entitle yourself as an IR or an PNG. Higher up will be the professional engineers with practicing certificate. They are also having the same entitlement, which are the IR and PN. The differences between the professional engineers and PEPC. It will be PEPC can practice, carry out a business and take up the employments to perform professional service. As for the PE, it can only take up the employment to perform the professional engineering services. In the layman term, PEPC are the persons that are allowed for submissions to the local authorities, which cannot be performed by a PE and a graduate engineer. In order to acquire the PE status, you need to go through a professional interview assessment PIA. Prior to sitting for the assessment, you need at least 3 years of practical experience. In order to become a PEPC, you need to be a PE first and then sit for the Professional Competency Examinations PCE. Upon passing for the PCE, you are entitled to be PEPC. Bear in mind that this slide is shared on the basis of the main route and the most common situations as an engineer in Malaysia. For more details and other additional information, you may refer to the website of Board of Engineers Malaysia.